The second part of the power of a point theorem involves a tangent segment and a secant segment instead of two secant segments. So if you have some circle with some exterior point P, then consider uh, a tangent segment. So here we have some segment PT whose point of tangency of the circle is at point T, and then some secant segment that intersects the circle at points A and B. Well, what we want to show true uh, is that this time PT squared equals to PA times PB. It's very similar to um, the power of point part one, and this time it's just PT times PT equals PA times PB. So you can see where the similarity lies. Um, so, for example, you know, if this were 10, and this were 4, and this is some missing value, x, find the value of x, well, pt squared is, that's 10 squared, pa here is 4, and pb is 4 plus x. This is pb, it's 4 plus x. Uh, so we have 100 equals 16 plus 4x. Subtract 16 from both sides, I've got 84 equal to 4x. Divide both sides by 4, I have x equals to 21. Okay, so we want to prove uh, this statement right here. That pt squared is in fact equal to pa times pb. So I'll use the same diagram here. And again, it's going to involve similar triangles. And again, we have to uh, draw in some auxiliary lines to find those two similar triangles. So in this case, the auxiliary lines we need to consider are AT and BT. Okay, so in this picture, there are two similar triangles. Where are they? Well. Angle P is obviously congruent to itself. Okay. Here, angle ATP is congruent to angle ABT. Why? Because they are both half the measure of the arc AT. Angle ABT is an inscribed angle that grabs arc AT, and so it's half of that. And uh, angle ATP, well that involves this theorem that if you have a, a tangent and then a chord, that this angle here is actually half of this arc. Maybe I'll prove that in another video, but here there's your tangent, there's your chord, the angle that it makes there, ATP, is half of the arc it, inter it intercepts, which is this one, which is AT. So ATP congruent to ABT. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that triangle PTA is similar to triangle P, B, T. Good. So now we can set up a proportion. We can say that P, T is to P, B. So P, T is to P, B as P A is to P T. So you have this small triangle P T A and the bigger triangle P B T. The long side is to the long side as the short side is to the short side. 
That's right. So uh, then you can cross multiply. So you have PT times PT equal to PA times PB, which is PT squared equals to PA times PB. Okay, so there's another uh, part of the power of 